Harvard, you're a top student, your professors want you to go on in their field, they encourage you to get a PhD, they said you've got a real future in this field, you work your butt off, you spend six years in graduate school, um, you land a teaching job at Harvard, and then you may or may not get tenure. If they reject you for tenure, you go to Carleton or, um, you know, the other main schools and uh, top schools. And, and you're at the top of your profession. And you publish. And, and then your brother, you know, that dumb little middle brother of yours, who barely got into college and never got higher than the C all the way through, is a vice president for General Motors, and he he has the kindness to invite you and your wife to spend a week on his yacht. <laughs> now, how can you not hate that younger brother? How can you think the world is fair? The lazy kid. And you know, I mean, it's I think it's understandable where anti-capitalism comes from in a very large class of Americans. Their income, their status, their position does not depend on the private sector. And none of their loyalties are there. And they have reasons to resent the private sector because they do better. Anyway, uh, so what do I, I... I just am sad. I just am sad to see it. You know, it's just... They have no alternative. What are they going to argue? When I was on the left, sort of democratic socialist, I thought for quite a long time, even though I saw how many places were failing, how many socialist places were failing, I thought, it's a good idea. We just haven't figured out how to make it work. But after a certain number of failures, you begin to think, maybe the idea is not so good. 